Okay, the purpose of this experiment is to test uh, Kirchhoff's laws. We're going to test his first law using this parallel circuitry here. We have a 240 ohm resistor here, and we have two uh, 4.7k ohm resistors in parallel with it. And then we're going to test his voltage law, his second law, by looking at the EMF here acting in the loop and looking at the PD across these three resistors. So the sum of the EMFs acting in the loop equals the algebraic sum of the potential differences dropped across the components. So the first we're going to do is measure current, and we're using our power supply here that you made, made up in experiment 1.1 to give us a 5 voltage supply across both our, our uh, test uh, boards. We have a meter set for 200 milliamps here, because we're expecting a current something around 20 to 30 milliamps. Also note we're using the fused input here, and this is to ensure the meter is protected in case we accidentally overload it with some current which would damage the meter. So to measure current we need to actually go into the circuit, because current flows through components, so we're going to place the meter across, we'll place this link here with the meter and see what current's actually going in at this point. And we see it's 22.2 milliamps approximately. Just look at our, the current going through our smaller resistors here now, which is 240 ohms. And we see it's uh, approximately 20 milliamps. And now we can check the current through one of the 4.7k resistors. And we see it's quite small, about 1.1 milliamps. And we'd expect to see the same current flow through this third resistor because the same value of that second resistor. We'll just check to make sure. And we can see the current there is 1 milliamp. So we had about 22.2 20, milliamps flowing in here. And we, we have uh, 20 milliamps flowing through 240 and about 1 milliamps through each of these here. So we can see the current flowing into the point equals the current flowing out. And that's a, a test of Kirchhoff's current law. The second one is a bit easier because with voltages, we don't have to disturb the circuit because voltage is across the components. So again, we just verify our voltage going in here and set the meter to voltage first. Be careful. And we see it's a nominal 5 volts, but it's actually 4.92, probably because our battery has dropped down a little bit. So now we just check the voltage across each of the three um, resistors. So we've got a 4.470 ohm resistor here and it's 2.44 and we go on to our next resistor here which is a 240 ohm resistor and it's 1.24 and we should find the same voltage across here 1.24 so we have 1.24 that's 1.24 which is 2.48 plus 2.44 so it gives us about 4.9 volts. So that proves us for uh, Kirchhoff's second law, that the EMF acting in a loop equals the sum of the potential differences dropped across the components in the loop.